Hello all, welcome to OpenMentor.net. So far we have seen record replay, adding multiple users, and then passing different data using NeoLoad. Now what we are going to do is, we are going to use this particular material request script in runtime. So far we have used iterations. Now what I'm going to do is, this is a constant load. Now I'm going to say by time. Rather than iteration, we are saying by time and then we say total number of users, let me say 5. Now we say how many minutes you want to run. I'm going to say let this script run for 2 minutes. So rather than specifying iterations, you can specify the duration because sometimes the applications like stock market they will work from 9 o'clock to 3 o'clock. Some reservation counters will work from 8 o'clock to 8 o'clock so you know how long the application will be loaded. So whenever you know that time you can use this option by time. Now 5 users will work for 2 minutes. Now I go to this system. In this system the number of material requests is around uh, 22 now. Now I start this test. In two minutes, let us see how long it is going to, how many, I'll say, how many uh, records it get inserted. Two minute run, then click OK. So now all the five users will start. They will start pushing the records to the application. So you can see the time scale once it starts. So if you see here now, the time scale starts at 0, 0. Five users will keep on hitting the server for the next two minutes. After two minutes, you could see all these things coming back to normal. Now I go here. So right now, let me refresh this page. It takes some time because users are operating on the system. So it takes definitely, it, it has some slowness now. It was not as fast as we thought before. Now there are no records added. Maybe after some time it will have more records. So let me go back and come in. Okay. Now still records were not added. Now you can see, okay. The, re the response time is going up to 3 seconds per page. So if you see here in which action people are in, you could see that. Now this is the runtime overview. Now I come back. Okay, let us go back and come in again. Okay, now previously it was 22. Now 4 more records were added. So 26 items are now found. Now 27 items, so as we speak, the users are hitting the system. As users hit, more records get added to the system. Now I think uh, 1 minute and 30 seconds are over. The script will not abruptly stop at exactly 2 minutes, but it may be ending at 2 minutes, maybe 3 seconds or 5 seconds. So it will allow the users to complete normally without abnormally exiting or aborting. So it's almost another 10 seconds for us to run. So the countdown starts. The script is going to finish now because the duration we set as 2 minutes. So it has finished exactly in, in 2 minutes. Right? Now let us go back to the system. Let us see how many records have been added. 29 items were added. Previously there were only 22. Now when, when you see this uh, uh, the records. Initially we started with some number but as we bombarded the system with more users, with five users, five users they were firing requests for two minutes and they added almost uh, seven records. Previously what we did is we know the definitive number of five users, two iterations you know ten records will be added. Now we set the duration. The next option what we are going to do is, in the same way, in the runtime, there is a constant load. Now I am saying ramp up. Use ramp up. Okay. 
Now one more thing you need to look at here is if you go to the design at every page you will see a think time. Think time meaning how long you waited while recording. Now it was having 10 seconds you can go ahead and then change it okay to 3 seconds 3000 milliseconds. For each and every page you can change this. So now I'm changing this to uh, 2000 milliseconds. For each page you can differently have the think time depending upon the page size and you can also overwrite the think time when you when you go to the scenario run. Now I am changing this to uh, 4000 milliseconds. So before firing each of these requests it will wait for those many milliseconds before it fires the request. Never make this think time to zero. So if you come to this material request at this point you can also change the think time, overwrite the think time and then you can limit the think time over here. That's a minor setting you can learn. What, now I come to run time. This time I'm going to run for three minutes but I'll start with one user and maximum number of users I'm going to say 10. Okay and I'm going to increment one more user every 10 seconds. Okay so every 10 seconds. So I'm going to totally run for three minutes. Initially it will start with one user then for every 10 seconds you will see one more user getting in. This is like a ramp up. Users slowly increase. The crowd slowly builds up. This is very useful because none of the systems have got 1000 users immediately coming to them. So better use a ramp up. Now the same way we are going to run. Let us give this ramp up. Now you can watch this. You will not see in the previous run all the five users started immediately. Now it will start with just one user. Then it will slowly add users as we speak. Now time is equal to zero. It has got one user. After 10 seconds one more user will start. Let us wait. Now one more user is added. So every 10 seconds it will add one one user so that the users slowly increase the crowd slowly builds up. This is a very practical method right. So previously we started with 29 records now after this run is finished we will see how many records get added. More users working more records will get added so the system will go slow. More requests and more hits are getting fired. Now if you see the users are ramping up. So better to ramp up users at some smaller intervals rather than having all the users firing at once. So once all users reach, we have set the maximum limit as 10 users. Once it reaches 10 users, the, the line will remain flat throughout the test run. And we have configured the test run for 3 minutes. Right now one, minutes, uh, 1 minute and 12 seconds are over. We have got some more time left. So let it let it go up. Okay. Now eight users are running. As you could see, the hits are also the green line is the hit. As the users increase, the hits are also increasing. That you can visibly watch. Okay. You can definitely see that hits are increasing as the users increase. Now ten users, they all grouped up. It will remain ten till the test run is over. Let us wait for the run to be over. So you can run users using iterations or you can run users at a constant uh, load or you can run users with a ramp up and then a constant load. A ramp up and then a constant load is more desirable because it is closer to reality. Now let us go to the system see how many records are added from 29. Okay. Uh, not much. 69, okay. 29 to 40 new records were added. Okay. You can say previously we ran for uh, 2 minutes but there are only 7 records added. Why there are more records added now? Because we are running more users. Number 2, we reduced the think time. Previously the think time was like uh, 10 seconds, 12 seconds. So it was waiting between the pages. Now we reduce the think time. That means the requests are getting fired one after the other with minimal delay in between them. So let us go back to new load. 
and for learning purposes you can use a trial version for all practical commercial purposes make sure that you get licenses from Neolo Neotis now the test is finished so one users every 10 seconds to the maximum of 10 users so 369 pages were hit 1060 hits were done totally 2.5 MB have been transacted on an average the pages were giving uh, this kind of a response and then there are no errors so if I come back to this application let us uh, go back and come to see how many records were added so from 29 to 88 almost like uh, 59 new records were added by 10 users in the last three minutes if you have a license for thousands of users keep running load your system see the performance bottlenecks. Thanks for visiting openmentor.net.